Hey everyone, this video is going to be about my um, nail polish collection so far and about um, how I organized it today. So let's get started. Um, my swatches were in here. I took them out because I had to look at something. They're usually like right here. Then I have my top coats right there from different brands. Like this one is just a random one that I've had. And this is um, the clear Wet n Wild. Um, it's a mini OPI clear. And then this is a um, Bixo clear. Then I have my toenail spreaders, whatever you could use that for. Then I have my nail files and stuff like that, clippers, cuticle cutter. Now let's start in the back. This, um, if I have more than one, I organize them by color, like darkest to lightest, um, just to keep organized. And my oily, my two wet and wilds. My two Ultas. Oh, you can't really see them, but they're like the mini OPIs. The OPIs right here. Then, the next row. This is separated by an index card. And then I just used some duct tape to have the sides stay. So it worked pretty good. Um, and a lot of these, you can see the tops over the tops. Like, kind of glazed at the top has like the little thing there. I don't know what it stands for, but, um, anyways, my china glaze, and then we start with the Sally Hansons, right here, right there, next row, um, you can't really see them, but they have, like, the silver top, those are all the pixels, then, the next row, are the NYC right there and my collection for NYC is pretty good because I have a lot of colors that make looks good actually in the collection then the next one this big chunk right there are my uh, sinful colors yeah I see but yeah my sinful colors That's all. So yeah, that is all the nail polish. Um, anyways, how you do this is you just, like, rip, um, I use, I have these, like, big index cards that I also use for my swatches. They look like this. They look like those big ones. I just tore that in half lengthwise, and, um, yeah. So I just cut that lengthwise, tape, use duct tape, and cut them in half, and yeah. Um, so yeah, and it, it's working out really good so far, so yeah. Um, but I am running out of room on this one, so if I do get some more, I mean I can fit like a couple more simple colors in here, like another um, row or so, because it actually ends. I have one, two... Two full rows of sinful colors, and then I have like two that start like the beginning right here. These two, so yeah. Um, but that is my collection so far, and I'm in like the 60s, I have like 62 or 61, something like that. But yeah, and I'm just gonna keep collecting them. And it seems like to be a tip that I get a lot of my nail polish if I do buy them. Um, my own nail polish if I buy the stuff, then I usually get them on good deals. Like I got a lot of this, um, sin a lot of these sinful colors on sale at Walgreens for 99 cents, and I had a lot of money at the money with me at that time, so bought a lot. Um, these were 1.99 at Ulta. Pixel, so I bought those. These I get a lot of these. This brand, the long wearing, um, because they're ninety four cents. Um, sometimes I pick up Wet and Wild if I find it at Jewel. Jewel has them, um, but they're not always on sale, so I don't 
get them a lot. But, um, I don't really, I'm not trying to get a lot of Sally Hansons. If you watched any of my other videos, um, my one video, it says that, um, that they do test on animals. Their nail polish, Sally Hansen. I watched that in another video that I saw. That she said that you do. Um, trying to glaze is probably one of my favorites. So I'm going to try and get a lot of those, but they are very expensive. So, yeah, that is my video. Um... I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe, rate, comment, do one of those. Thank you. Bye.